Uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, I think it's going to be good for everybody. It's going to make our team obviously deeper and stronger uh, up front. We got, we got a good back end too, uh, and, and there's depth there also. So, I mean, there's going to be a battle for, uh, you know, some of the veterans to, to get in the lineup because some guys are going to have to sit. And uh, But at the same time, there's going to be guys, you know, the guys that are working to get called up to Dallas are going to have to battle and, and, you know, work every night, every day in practice, uh, every night in the games. and and show what they're made of and uh, you know it's going to be a battle for those guys to see who's going to be you know the first guy getting called up when uh, when injuries happen you've been here every year the team has been here last year was only the second time you guys have missed the playoffs how much does that drive what you guys want to accomplish this year to make sure that doesn't happen again yeah it's it's no fun going home in uh, mid-april or being done with hockey it's <laughs> makes for an awfully long summer and uh, you know you get a little antsy halfway through and it, you know you still got a couple months to go before you even get started so I mean, I'm sure a lot of guys, you know, think the think the same thing, and I hopefully they've used it this summer to, you know, get a little stronger and use that extra time uh, wisely and come back and and uh, you know I think we got a good looking team and, and a lot of depth and a lot of strengths, uh, you know, across the board. So uh, we're all looking forward to a really good year. Mo Lax has talked about the vibe and, and how the vibe feels really good in this training camp. You're the only guy that's been at every training camp this organization, so. How would you describe this vibe, and maybe how would you rank it compared to your prior seasons? Uh, you know, I think I think it's a lot of guys having a good time, and we all seem to enjoy each other's company. And uh, you know, we've been able to get away and uh, get away from the rink and actually hang out as a as a group uh, last Sunday, which was nice. And you know, just the guys and get to know each other a little more on a deeper level and come to appreciate each other. And I think that, you know that stuff's key to to growing a, a bond to where you're willing to do things uh, to sacrifice your maybe your position in, in things to better the team and and help each other out and you know when it comes down to it yeah, I can only look at the year we won and the year before that we had the same group it was we had some injuries and then but coming back we had a feeling you could just feel it from the beginning it was we felt like we had a good team we knew where we were going and what we wanted to do and you know, I think it's kind of the same thing. You haven't had a lot of games off in the last five, six, seven years, whatever it's been, but you look at the number of veterans on this roster, there could be a time where Travis Moore doesn't play just to get other bodies in the lineup. How do you feel about entering a situation like that, especially at a later part of your career? Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, I I can only control if I go out there and play and play well. i got to, you know, like we said, that's going to keep everybody pushing each other. I got to keep pushing to stay in the lineup, and it comes down to the coaches making those calls. And you know, like he like he told us, we had a meeting this morning, and it's you know usually things get sorted out. There's going to be injuries and things like that, and things are going to happen. And uh, you know, so hopefully, uh, I don't think we're going to have any ego problems with that or anything. These guys will take it in stride. We're all all the veterans in there are professional and and understand the situation, and it's something we got to deal with. And you know, I think we're all here for the betterment of the team, and just to help help win here. You talk about having a guy, speaking of veterans, like Mike McKenna in net and kind of the steady and calmness that he can provide uh, from the back end. Yeah, you know, I think it's I think it's huge. It's it's something we've we uh, not nothing against the goalies we've had the last couple of years, but they they've been young guys who are, you know, are a little inexperienced and it can be a little overwhelming at times and uh, you know, it's it's nice to have a, a presence back there that has been through it and seen everything. He's he's uh you know he's played at all levels. He's won at all you know pretty much all the levels he's been at. So uh, it's something nice to have back there and know that he's back there. And uh, you know I'm looking forward to see how he uh, performs in the season here. Rollo's back. Mackenzie's going to be coming back after he cleared waivers today. I do feel like the band is getting back together a little bit with all the time you spent here. Yeah, it's I don't know, it's it's weird. It's kind of cyclical here, I guess, you know. It's <laughs> thought those guys had moved on, they're back again, but it's it, you know, it's uh I'm sure, you know, Curtis is a little disappointed, but I know I know him and he'll come down here and he'll work hard and and you know, he wants to play and get better and show what he can do. So, I have no uh worries about him coming and performing and you know, we'll be happy to have him. It, you know, like we said, it just increases our depth and uh makes our team stronger and you know, that's that's only going to help these guys in the long run.